I'm here with my buddy Sean Miller, and we're about to do a sauna. That's right. Yeah. Ice bath circuit. What do we call it? Is yeah. Like a, so is it like a name? It did. Well, this is contrast therapy. <laughs> we're gonna do 30 minutes, get a bunch of stuff out of our body, come out to our extremities, uh, and then and mentally prepare for what lies ahead, which is the ice bath. It's a built in us that we do not want to go in an ice bath. You look at ice and there's like no way. Right, right. But you go in there, psychologically, you just broke down that barrier. Right. And then when you get in there, physiologically, what's happening through your body? And right. then when you get out, it's just a whole new ball game. The way you sleep, the way you distress, your attitude, your mood, all the hormones being released, oxytocin, all this great stuff. We are gonna sneak in a little pool session as well, do some breath holding stuff too, because it's all about breath. When you're in the heat or the cold or definitely underwater. So we're gonna have some fun with this. Yeah, so five rounds of heat and ice. Like you do sauna for like 10 to 12 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, ice for three. Get out of the ice, right to the sauna, 10 to 15 minutes, back in the ice, three minutes. And you always end with ice. When you're done with Why the ice, because you're metabolizing. So if I want to burn fat, burn calories, I need my body to metabolize and, and create internal heat right. as opposed to a source being in the sauna. I got I to gotta move my body. Bottom. I gotta move. I appreciate it. Okay, sauna done. My uh, heart is about to get way worse for me because we're about to jump in the pool. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Oh, Guys, set that down. Oh. Oh. We did all freestyle. <laughs> I sank on that one. That's a big way. Don't push it down there. Ooh. Freestyle there and back. Okay. Yeah. There you go. That's it. Okay. All right. All right. So keep those weights there. Yeah. We're gonna come back and play a little bit. Oh, great. <laughs> your um, your meditative self, like if you want to be present, whatever that is. Just getting doing some like yoga or meditation in a nice quiet room with carpet with air conditioning. <laughs> like you don't have to do this. This is a do this is a different level, and this is something that everything right now I can just see right through your eyes that says <laughs> <laughs> like there's like no way I would ever do that. Why would I do that kind of thing? Um, but if you can tap into that, you can conquer anything that comes out in life. You know, and actually. Real quick history though, the in Native Americans, when the pilgrims came over, the Native Americans, the pilgrims were watching them, they take their babies, put them in snow, and rub snow all over the babies, pick them up. They're creating brown fat. The brown fat is that blood and rich fat that burns calories. So these Native Americans were able to go hunting in the cold for days, for fine, because they could tolerate it. And so and the white pilgrims were like, what is that? Like, that's crazy, right? And so to do stuff like that, and you get into that uh, that, that state, um, you create that brown fat, which is a big thing for metabolism. But if you don't want to get sick, you go in here. Boost your immune system, 100%, yeah? You produce these lymphocytes, a lot great with T cells, but it's amazing what that does on a cellular level, so. Show us how it's done. Yeah. You need my uh, my, my breath down. work support? You need me to so, cheer you on so, a little bit? <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my feet off a little bit here. Try to clean it up, respect the ice, try to keep it clean. And three, how, how long? Two. Just till you're, till you're done? Three minutes. minutes. Three minutes, okay. So here you go, I'm going in. Ooh. Oh. He's in there. He's in there. Focus on fives. Inhale, five, four, three, two. Exhale, five, three, two. Stay on that. If I did it 30 times, I got three minutes. Two, one, that's three minutes. Controlled in, controlled out, so you're not in frantic. You don't want to 
lose that ice for you there. <laughs> yeah, no, please, by all means, shove all of it back in. Then you got to move because now all the blood was in. You got to get it back out. So you can do squats, jumping jacks, push-ups. How long does it take to get the blood flowing back? When you do three minutes, it'll take longer. When you do a minute, it doesn't take as long. Okay. So right now, I got got to get moving there. And you can, you know, the deep squats good. There's a lot of Tai Chi stuff too. I used to do like some horse dance with some jujitsu guys. Really, really quick way to uh, to heat up the, the furniture real quick there. Okay. Um, Your so, skin is red from the yeah, cold. Yeah, it's really tight too. On the collagen is, is coming, and everything's tightening up there too as well. So. Um, but yeah, that, that's what happens with that. Is like your skin will feel really tight too. Uh -huh. um, but you're just getting the blood flow back out. You can see so just dialed in on the breath. Yeah. I didn't know what time it was, just lost in the breath. Who needs Botox when you got an ice chest <laughs> in your backyard? <laughs> this is really the, the, right. the, the ageless time machine. Man. You want to stay young? Okay. What, 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 what? 10 seconds until the minute mark. I'm gonna, um, did you say something? No. <laughs> I thought there was a question. Just I was gonna go in, but I thought you said something real quick. <clears throat> okay. How long? Oh, do you hey. Long? Hey, Blake. We need some time. Along we got a visitor. Okay. What's yeah. that? How long are you going? Three minutes. Oh. Okay. We can do three minutes. I can do three <laughs> minutes. Just focus on the breath. We'll take care of the time. Time will take care of itself. <clears throat> time will take care of itself. Inhale five. Exhale right. five. Stay on it. Okay. I mean, you made it look so easy. And you look so cool doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Young Val Kilmer getting in this <laughs> I'm going to look like the Grinch. Okay, ready? <clears throat> okay, no, no, no negotiating. No with the brain. That's what you said. No negotiating with the brain. That's, that's, I love that. Okay, you got 20 seconds. Okay, so 20 seconds. Counting down at, at two. One. Make that noise in your mouth. Good. Give me some of those. There you go. Good job. Get control. Get control. Get control. I'll get some jumping jacks in, brother. Get moving. Jumping jacks. Oh. Oh, you gotta move. It's expensive. It's expensive. Ah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Hit the squats. Hit the squats. Hit the squats. Oh, okay. Hit the reach ups. There you go. Oh, so I get the blood flow. There you go. Uh, I didn't do two minutes yesterday. I didn't do one second yesterday. So I guess. Uh, yeah, that's big time. It's a little something every day. Time. Wow, everything that's your hard, brain dude. said. I, I, oh. Yeah, everything in your brain said. I did not want to do that. You, uh, you make that look so easy. <laughs> That is, uh, well, it, it, Alan, it's, it's the getting comfortable with the uncomfortable mindset. Right. If you do stuff on a daily basis, you drink a little bit of poison every day. I like that. Drink it's a little not, poison every day. It's not. Okay. <laughs> Back to the sauna. <laughs> You're right. The breath is, it's, uh, it's in incredibly difficult to control that. Yeah, in, in those in that kind of extreme. But and you got to practice the breath when you're not in the extreme. You know, right. doing it in the morning as part of your routine. What does that look like at night before you go to bed? Um, doing some breathing exercises that just take five minutes. And that was just like that was just a cooler. Uh, that was just a freezer. I mean, <laughs> right? That was just yeah. a freezer. There, it doesn't matter if it's a pond, if it's a lake, if it's a pool. If it's a cold pool. It doesn't matter. Shower. That pool was freezing too. Yeah, hundred percent. By the way, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. See that on camera. That pool yeah. was already. We just say like 49 degrees. Yeah, it was probably right out there, yeah. right out there. And I, and I, when I first found out the pool was not heated, I was so happy that they don't heat the pool. <laughs> You're the I was like, only person alive. I was the only person. I was like, oh, this is perfect for me. Uh, but you don't want to do it like right before you go to bed. Do an ice bath. Like you'll just be too wired. Right. And so um, it's like a cup of coffee. Yeah, that's exactly. So yeah. some people do coffee. I do ice. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it just depends. You so know? You, you, no caffeine? No, I do. I, I mean, I do coffee, but I don't look to that as my wake up source. Right. I, I look to cold and I look to movement and breath as my wake up source. Right. So I don't need a cup of Joe. Uh, I need a cup of Sean. So just doing some of these things. And, and really, for me, it's just getting cold. Like this morning was cold, sunrise, beautiful. And it was like, all right, shirt off, board shorts. I'm going to go for a walk. 
Oh, yeah. It was like when you really want to put gloves on and bundle up. Yeah, I can't do caffeine. Yeah, yeah you told me I had to quit. I had to quit caffeine. Did you have to quit? That was a choice. It was. I mean, but yeah, I mean, if I wanted to be healthy, because I I was diagnosed with bipolar in uh, 2018, after you know just a a, a really traumatic uh, a workload for the year. You know, I, I pushed myself too far. I was like, I forced myself into like a manic place to to service all these contracts. And things were like the wheels were falling off like big time. I, I went from like when I when I finished delivering all these deals, all this business that I had generated, I was done. Uh, it was like nine months straight of, of just kind of this manic energy. I came down from that like I'd never expect. I, I didn't know that I even Whoa. had that problem. Right. Yeah. So part of like kind of understanding what that was, was was learning about what what this mood disorder is. And, and, um, and you know, I, I like to think of it more actually it's like uh like you could almost call it like an immediate emotional response um disorder you know um like <clears throat> i feel like i have this ability to tap into this emotional range that already kind of seems larger than most people's like just more keys on the piano um you know and that's not better or worse but it's just like it seems like there's a wider range and then to be able to like go from the highest key to the mm -hmm. lowest key instantaneously you know um to to throw uh to throw uh, you know sort of other f factors in there like alcohol or coffee right, yeah, that, yeah. Okay. that okay. also create um imbalances yes. in, in the ecosystem you know um when you when you when you consume alcohol it's a neurotoxin and uh your body preparing for that that toxin starts to create cortisol it starts mm. to release cortisol right so you 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 actually are creating an anxiety in yourself in preparation of the depressant, knowing that the depressant's coming. Your body's very good at finding an equilibrium or maintaining that. So you actually create anxiety for yourself in preparation. Caffeine is the same thing. So like waking up, your body naturally wants to create cortisol in the morning to, to get you out of bed, get you ready for the day and alert. That's a stress hormone. Um, but when it knows it's going to get coffee, it doesn't produce that. So that's why you wake up mm. like, oh, <laughs> right. So for somebody like me, when I start to realize like, wow, there's a, there's a, a little chemical concoction going on in my brain that's like, has to be dialed in very carefully, or I will slip into like this kind of uncontrollable de de depression, or my highs will be so high that it's kind of unhealthy and destructive. Yeah, that's true. Right. So I'll, 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 over, I'll go like 20 hours without, mm -hmm. you know without sleeping, I'll sleep for two, three hours, get up and do like another Whoa. 20 hour day. I was doing that for months. And you know, at the end of that, obviously you can't sustain that. Yeah. <clears throat> it's destructive, you know? And so, so I started by, by stripping away the alcohol thinking like maybe that mm -hmm. will sort of help me stay centered. And I noticed in the morning when I would ha have caffeine and I hadn't had this, this sort of fog in the morning or this depressant at night, sort of like weighing the body down the caffeine t put me in, it, I was like instantly in a manic state. Yeah. So I'd like wake up and I, it wasn't, it's not like for, you know, I, I, like my wife, t you know, she'll have a cup of coffee and it's like, she's just like alert. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, right. I'm just ready. I'm going to take the kids to school. Right. <laughs> I have a cup of coffee and it's like, all right, I started four businesses by <laughs> 930. <laughs> like, I, made, I sold my first film, but I mean, it's like, I'm like in Whoa. super yeah, yeah, yeah. overdrive, you know? Yeah. And so, so I think some people are more sensitive than others. They are. For me personally, I've realized like, it's not something that serves yeah. me, you know? Right. And that's really what it's all about, right? Is finding what, what is no longer serving us, what serves us well. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's create routines that incorporates as much as possible, the good stuff. Yeah. Not, not leaving room for the, yeah. for the other stuff. Yeah. And you don't know until you taste it. You don't know until you try it. You right. don't know until you eliminate it. You right. don't know. I mean, instead of just going through routines that we just do, we just right. do what we just do. I eat this because my grandma, because I ate it. It's like, turns out those biscuits and gravy ain't too good for you. You should try something. Right.